everybody my name is analytical plum and welcome back to my channel we are going to be reacting to the next episode of the bad batch today i'm so excited to see where this episode is going to take us because as we know they're beginning to look for the reasons as to why the empire wants omega specifically more for the m count and what it means hopefully we get some answers today and a bit of action but you know if you want too much then you're not going to get that <laughs> especially with star wars if you have missed it i did react to the acolyte trailer already i will leave that linked down below if you are curious but of course before we begin i would love if you would consider subscribing i do post twice a week but don't hold me to that and if you like my reaction videos or if you like star wars then please do like this video it helps me out a ton and without further ado let's see what the bad batch are getting up to in this episode hi we're back on pabu yes can never go wrong on this island quote me back on that in a couple of episodes times when everything goes tits up staring at your calm won't make echo contact you any faster i have to do something to help them you are by staying away i mean yeah um, he's fully spitting facts there you can't do, you can't argue against that because if they have her i mean there's no stopping them at all really well that we know of maybe that was a bit dramatic he's right they agreed on something you have to lay low incoming transmission from fee oh yay maybe we're at that point in the trailer who she's a liberator of ancient wonders <laughs> Pirate. She's a pirate. I love the way she said that. <laughs> yeah, Crosshair's missed out on a lot, hasn't he? He's got quite a bit of catching up to do. Hey, Fee. Hey, kid. Hi. I've been asking around about this M count thing. Text brain was the data bank, not mine. But I came through. As always, certain class one bounty hunters have been retrieving M count targets for the Empire. Is that who we're going to see in today's episode? Are we getting a Fennec or a Cad Bane? Maybe a Sarge? I don't know. I don't really know what she's up to nowadays. I never read her book. So I, I know bits and pieces because my fiance is a big Star Wars fan. So he knows a lot more than me. But yeah, I, I, I don't really know what she's up to. Just that she's hanging out with Quinlan Voss. And that's about it. <laughs> What's it mean? You're better off asking a bounty hunter. We have run into a few. Yeah, I mean, practically all of them that we're hopefully seeing this season. Oh, I say that, but this is the last one. What about Fennec? Oh, Fennec Shand. She's dangerous, but maybe our only option. Yeah, as much as I love Fennec, Fennec's my gal, but you cannot trust Fennec. I can probably track Fennec down for you, but she's not gonna hand over that information for free. No, no sorry. <laughs> Crosshair has fully had enough of pay having to pay for things. We can't trust Fennec. Not around Omega. I definitely agree. You and I will go alone. But this isn't a debate. Stay on Pabu and stay out of trouble. Both of you. Fine by me. I am in love with the dynamic all of them have. See if you can convince him to get his hand looked at. Ignoring it won't make the problem go away. Says who? I ignore loads of things in my life and eventually they go away. It looks like a bit of a dumbbell, doesn't it? Like a weight. <laughs> oh, I am in love with little droids. Well, to be fair, all droids. They're my favourite part of Star Wars. Is that droid got really, really long legs? Fennec! Hello, lovely. The less Fennec knows, the better. <laughs> we know who shot first in that instance, at least. We're in the middle of something here. Not anymore. I have no business with them. You do now. I remember you too. You're the clones who ruined one of my scores. I wouldn't say ruin, I'd say more of a brief difference, you know, of opinions, just a brief bit of conflict, you know, touch of salt. <laughs> How is Omega? Why? We're here for information. It's going to cost you. We figured. 
We hear the Empire has a bounty out for M count targets. Why do you want to know about that? That's our business. Oh, Hunter and Wrecker just reminded me of you know when underage or freshly aged adults they try and buy alcohol for the first time they're able to but they're just really really shy or they're just underage and they're trying to get away with it <laughs> to be fair i'm still absolutely terrified and i am of age and i still get id'd absolutely everywhere because i look about 12. so i have reason to be nervous because then everyone stares at me and they think i'm a 12 year old trying to get drunk on the weekend i haven't done one of those jobs myself but might know someone who has can you put us in touch with them? Now that will definitely cost you. Who is it gonna be? We might be able to work something out. You're good with demolitions and ordnance, right? Good. I'm the best. Slightly humble. <laughs> Instead of having a dummy, Rekka just had a grenade and he was happy with that. <laughs> There's a bounty I've been trying to bring in. So you want us to work with you? No, you'll be working for me. If you follow <laughs> through, I'll get you what you want to know. Deal. No way this is going to be smooth sailing. Especially not with Fennec. I keep the payment on the bounty. All of it. Harsh. Unfortunately, it may never heal 100%. I have exhausted all medical treatment options. Perhaps the issue is not something physical. You think it's in my head? I don't think he's going to like that. Forget it. Uh oh. Yeah, I did not expect him to be the type of person to talk about his feelings. We're working for her now. What choice do we have? We need that information. Just be ready for anything. Like her walking in through that door. Wanna tell us who it is we're going after? Siler Saris, the slayer of Ordo Eris. One of the slipperiest marks around. Looks freaky. Took out a couple of top bosses for the Haxian Brood and escaped with a cache of credits. Fair play to him. Sila knows the planet like the back of his claw, but eventually, everyone's luck runs out. Well, don't say that like it's foreshadowing. I mean, come on, guys. I want a bit of happiness. Give me some love. It's like a planet of mustard gas. Helmets on, boys. The air here will kill you. Don't go dying on me until the job's done. I will postpone my death till then, thank you. <laughs> I need a boat with speed, and not something that'll capsize like last time. <laughs> Ten for that. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's not the type of boat I was expecting. <laughs> oh, they're just too cute. I just want a little pit droid to run with me, not to do anything for me, but just to be my friend. Keep eyes on the current. Siler's got a safe house upriver somewhere. This is kind of like Resident Evil Village. Do you think we're gonna get um, what's his name again? Maud Montague M something, or was it the B something? I mean, I don't know. But you know the fish dude, or if you know, if you know the game, but the big fish dude that jumps over you and like tries to eat you, nasty looking. Do you think he could be in there? I don't know. He might be. It's Star Wars after all. The area we're headed is extremely hostile, so always keep your eyes on the water. Why? <sighs> Let's just say I'd never go in it. Well, that's not ominous, is it? There's some type of mine up ahead. Better get in there and check it out. You said you'd never go in the water. And I'm not. You are. Oh, <laughs> that's cheeky, that. Proper cheeky. Ah, oh, to be fair, if I was Fennec, I'd totally do the same thing. Come on, Rekka. quicker you get in, the quicker you get out. It's loads. This whole area is booby trapped. Our best option is to go around. Mate, what is this, Indiana Jones? You won't be. We go this way, and we have the element of surprise. It's risky. Very risky. You want that information, or not? <laughs> Whoopa! Now just about ten more to go. Ooh. That was close. Close doesn't count. It's either a hit or a miss. That's not good enough for a sniper. 
I mean, mate, you're basically what, like retirement age. You don't need to be a sniper anymore. Just relax, you know, have a cocktail, and I'm sure Batcher will lick your feet or something. <laughs> I don't know, what, what, how do you do a massage <laughs> over on Pabu? Whatever they did to you on Tantus could have affected you more than you realise. No, 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 it's not in my head. I think it is, mate. Maybe you're the one who has to fix it. I have an idea. You're gonna have to trust me. I'm not gonna like it, am I? No. You don't like anything. True. Oh no, honestly, I know I keep going on about it, but I absolutely love the relationship that those two have this season. I think it's honestly one of my favourite parts of this season so far. Oh, what is it? It's the village, Donny. <laughs> Wanna speed it up? Can't they just leave it and then the mines will explode them? Oh, oh they're just crocodiles. That's fine. Very jumpy crocodiles. <laughs> I never thought I'd see Rekka wrestle with a crocodile. <laughs> Crocodile. Oh no, I couldn't be there when it's dark. That's so freaky. Maybe you guys aren't cut out for this job. You think you could do better without us? I wouldn't be doing any worse. Oi, 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 now. Apparently, she got away from you too. That was so not fair, and you know it. <laughs> so what happened with the kid? Really suspicious. This is now the second time she's asked, maybe the third, I don't know. This is the multiple time that she's asked about Omega. I'm very concerned about her interest. I don't trust her. What's it to you? Just seems odd. I didn't lose Omega. I let her go when the bounty was called off. Uh, I mean, you did have a bit of a problem against Cad Bane. So, I'd say tomato, tomato, you know. By who? The client. They thought Omega would be safer with you guys. Guess they were wrong about that. I wouldn't say that. I think she's she's done pretty well with them. I mean, she's been lost a few times, you know, but everyone makes mistakes like that, I think. <laughs> I guess you'll work for anybody as long as you get paid. Good guys, bad guys, their money is all the same. Money's not everything. And that's because you don't have any. <laughs> She's on a roll today. <laughs> Do you know what? I thought there'd be a bit more booby traps, but it's only been one. Go check Siler's hideout. Hey, what about you? I'm the lookout. So we take all the risk and you get all the reward. Pretty much. A gal's got to do what she's got to do. <laughs> He's long. I mean, he looks long, but that's long. The target went underground. Underground? You heard me. Well, slippery little bugger indeed. You think I'd let you slip away from me again? Oh. Make and tank a stun blast. Who is this dude? Oh my god. Just take it. He needs a bit of horse tranquilizer. Is that, is that tranquilizer? Bleating hell. Oh, they're meditating like Gunji taught her. It's meditation. It'll help you heal. Not just your hand, but your mind too. I doubt that. No, oh, don't. Adjust your position and breathe. They are too cute. Where did you learn this? I picked it up from my friend Gunji and the other Wookiees on Kashyyyk. You've been to Kashyyyk? Uh-huh. This whole episode is just Crosshair being absolutely clueless about what they've done since he's not been there. In a way, I kind of feel bad that he's missed out on everything because it sucks when everyone's got kind of an inside joke or knowledge and you're on your outside. But I mean, he chose that 
and at that time he was a massive a-hole so it's it is what it is <sighs> you've missed a lot i know now close your eyes and focus that's my new wallpaper thank you bad batch <laughs> pleasure doing business with you hang on you promised us information i didn't say i had it on me but i'll get it that's not what we agreed on. You can either fight me or trust me. Can you do both? I think that's a good option. <laughs> I'll be in touch. <laughs> really took Hunter back with her. I just finished a job with some clones. They were asking about the Empire's M count bounties. What can you tell me? I'm sure you can track them down easily enough. I'll send you what I have. I mean, I knew she couldn't be trusted, but it still hurts. It hurts deep down seeing her do that. But who do you think she's talking to? Do you think this is finally a Saj? We're coming towards the end of like the other half of the season and we still haven't seen her yet. So could this be her? She's got a lot of experience with that sort of area of the Jedi. So surely she would be the one who would know about that. Or it could be someone else, you know, someone completely different and I've got it all messed up and I'm excited again for no reason. <laughs> another day, another slay. That was my reaction to this week's episode of The Bad Batch. Not very much going on this week, but we had a bit more of a character development through with Corsair and Omega helping him out. Hopefully he will be able to, you know, start healing, start trying to get himself into a place where he's able to decide what to do with his life, basically. And hopefully, we didn't find out this episode what's happening with the M count but hopefully next episode's time we will find that out and next episode is a single episode but the one after that is a double episode so there's got to be some sort of reveal happening because it's a double episode you know there's nothing not exciting about a double episode that is it from me today i hope you enjoyed my reaction and this video again feel free to comment any opinions that you have or just anything you want to leave down below and i will see you all in the next video video.